In this video, we'll add the ability to one-click login and it will send us a secure token to access the user's account. This will allow us to get the guilds and profile of the user and more. Let's get started. So, we left off with a shell of an OAuth system. Now what? <laughs> we can't log in yet. And now we can't log it out either. That's what we're going to sort out in this video, so make sure we go to cookies here. We're going to install cookies, now we'll get onto that in a minute. But that's going to, what cookies is, well hopefully you know what a browser cookie is if you don't. It basically stores the state of your, or it basically stores the state of a user. For example, what, what theme they selected, say if your website has themes, you can save what theme they had last, like dark theme, or the user login, like a token for them to log in their session. Now, that's how you stay logged in to websites, they store your session within cookies, whether that is local storage, which is a form of cookie in a way. So in off routes here, we're going to type router dot get. We're going to define the basic routes here. So login. We're going to install cookies first. Actually, we're going to set that up, and then we're going to get these routes done here. So app dot use cookies now where is cookies oh, it auto imports if you have the plugin I believe yeah I think it is a, an extension not plugin but there you go here's my extensions I'm not sure which one it is <laughs> so app dot use cookies now we can type cookies dot express and then we can pass in keys which is specified here it looks like this so cookies returns middleware we're gonna add a 404 route so app.get um it's one star which means everything other than what's defined pretty much everything else just star means everything it's a wild card just use it in a lot of things so rec res.render, we can render a 404 page we can render a 404 page <laughs> let's do that so if we go in routes so we're going to type type errors and then we're going to have 404.pug uh, and then in index we're just going to quickly make 404 page Oop. could add to this later 404, you chose something like you chose the wrong planet. <laughs> return home. And then that will return to the slash. That will go to slash. We can have this. We can use index.css because that will allow us to center it. And that's what we want. So display, if we look. Hold on, if we refresh, you chose the wrong planet, you found the wrong planet, you are lost on, it just makes more sense if we do that. But now we can type render errors, let's do this quickly, 404, there we go, so now when we type, sorry, we get this 404 page, what we should do when we refresh, let's find out, includes is not found, so we type we go back one folder, so we go back one folder and then go into includes header, there we go. So now, 404, you chose the wrong planet, you are lost whatever on the wrong planet. We can remove the navbar because it makes more sense I guess. Okay, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use this question mark here, why not, so FA question. Cool, so with login we get this. Now in 
speed run this so in our routes here what we can do is router.get login now what rec.res and also in server off routes we're using off routes that's good so uh, sorry res dot redirect now what are we what do we want to do how do we log in well to log in so to log in what we need to do go into oauth 2 here in, in your application and choose identifying guilds whatever scopes you're using copy this and then we're going to redirect here and then we can type config we're going to add config here const config equals require bing config we go back two folders config.json core so config.bot.id here and then redirect URI is it's URL encoded that's all the symbols okay so we get rid of this what well, it says off type config dot dashboard url and then slash off make sure that's correct otherwise you'll have a uh, an error when you log in and scope identify guilt so we can basically this symbol means oh it's this encoded thing here means space there we go response type code so what that means it's going to send us a code when we authorize this link. So, off. We need to, it's going to redirect to off, as it says, so slash off. Request response. Rec.query.code. So, query is the query string. So, a query string, let's use an example here. If I go on Google, and I type test or testing one two three what happens oh what's all this why is the URL so big it's because this is a query string this is the key this is the value so equals value cool so we're gonna get the query dot code res dot get why did I type res dot get I'm gonna type res dot we're going to type code equals this and then we're simply just going to res.send the code so we can see what's going on so what do you think is going to happen when we log in Let's see oh we need to refresh oh what happened res is not defined what have i done I haven't made this a function. Too many mistakes in one video. So we're gonna make we're basically gonna add this to a new line here. It's getting pretty long. So now it's not working. Ah what's going on? An invalid token already? Okay, so make sure you log in here. What it's going to do, it's going to go to Discord and log in via Discord. And then, it's going to then send us a code. So we need to authorize it here. This is the login part. So we press authorize. And then, oh, what's this? Off, it redirects back, off code. And then what is this? So we have the code, what now? So, we need the client. So use off client so I'm going to import off client Look, I can't spell there we go require this now when we require that off client dot so get access returns a JSON web token which we'll get on to in a minute code const so there's a code and there's a token it's like a token i guess it's a key i call it a key so we're gonna send the key now when we log in and see what is going on so what 
log in. So we're going to authorize. Oh, we get this. Why did we get that? Because I forgot to add a wait and it's returning an, a promise. I'm doing weird things today, but there we go. Let's log in again. Authorize. Oh, I forgot to refresh it. Another thing you can do is you can add and prompt equals none at the end of this login thing, login URL, and that will allow you to one click login. So I believe you have to prompt it, you have to click authorize the first time and it works every other time after. So if we press authorize, what happens? Oh no. Oh no, what is going on? Invalid request made. Okay, so I was getting a conf I had a configuration error here. <laughs> so now we authorize one PG demo. We still get this problem. We still get this error. So we regen the secret every time we get something like this. There's a lot of background noise. So the the time is background noise time, so so now <laughs> Okay, it thinks it's Polish, but we get oh, JSON Web Token. Cool. What can we do with the token? So we can paste it in JWT.io. Boom. Oh, we get the access token, you've seen that you get when it expires, so this is the timestamp now, which is a number, plus this. That looks, that's milliseconds I believe, so if we divide that by 1000, uh, I think that's 10 minutes, I'm not entirely sure. So the code's only valid for 10 minutes when you can log in. And then it expires then, so if we type new date, we're going very scientific here, so you can understand what's going on. So this is when this is when the login expires. I believe that's a week from when it's created, and then issued at that's when it was issued. So twenty four, or whenever it was issued. I think it's missing the thousand on the end. Three zeros, but there we go. Token type bearer, that's just a convention. Scope identify guilds. This is what we use to get the guilds and user, users, etc. So, in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to use this token here and we're going to we're going to render the dashboard and the navbar with it. We're going to use this token to perform operations like get users, get guilds, etc. and render the dashboard. So, see you there.